Guys here from Kishinau, from European Moldova, and I want to show you this central square. It's very beautiful, yeah. And this is really very developed European city. Kishinau is amazing, and look at it. It's pedestrianized, a beautiful square with a cultural center and a theater and a playground, and it's very European here. This is like Vienna. It could be the same like Maria Hilfer Straße. This is the beauty of this beautiful place and it's absolutely ready for the European Union. All those in Paris and in Vienna and in Berlin and Brussels who claim that Moldova can never be in the European Union, they are absolutely wrong. They have probably never been here and they have not seen the beauty of this place. Yeah? I call on all Europeans to actively and intensively to support the European Union future of um, European Moldova and make sure that this country, same like Cyprus, will be 2029 a full member in the political European Union as a real member and voting in the European Parliament elections 2029. And anybody who says it's impossible, I can remind you, we did the same for Romania and Bulgaria and it was utterly successful. This was a really very good idea. And if they are not as successful as uh, we want, it's because we have not redistributed and supported them enough during the EU membership. We have not created the institutions of supervision of the rule of law. And we are to blame. <laughs> and the Moldovans, uh, certainly not. <laughs> so don't handicap and don't uh, hijack the Moldovan issue on some failures of the European Union. But Europeans have the right for EU membership. Yeah? It's our obligation to include them. And look, it's also very beautiful here. The idea of misery or play, uh, problems here is absolutely incorrect. <laughs> of course there are problems, but we have a number of them in Austria as well. <laughs> I'm not getting tired to remind everybody on our problems. And we cannot exclude people and nations and uh, whole population segments of Europe just because we have some problems detected recently. <laughs> uh, and we have not built the Europe we want and then they have to be stay out. Yeah? in the danger zone of Russia and a uh, victim of Russian aggression. And afterwards, yeah, then when there is a war, we have to send weapons. And yeah, OK, uh, we shouldn't send weapons. Ah, it's very expensive, the war. Ah, because we don't do the right policy before. This is a complete failure. And we have to really come to terms with it. And we have to integrate this beautiful city, this amazing population into the European Union and by the way also in NATO and give the Euro and recognize Kosovo and all the things I will tell you during this week when I'm here in European Chisinau and I will show you the beauty of this place and I hope you like it and more to come and the proof is already this wonderful square here in the city center at the main boulevard of this beautiful town is already an amazing asset to have and I will show you all these beautiful days on the day of liberation the 8th of May this is a day of joy as well, while it's uh, marking a very terrible war and the end of it. But the, the sign is that we are united in Europe now, in a peaceful Europe, and we will make peace by victory against uh, Russian aggression. And in this time, we can be a bit smarter than the last time and already help uh, Moldova before it comes to a military escalation by integrating Moldova in the European Union. Bye. Thanks for now. And more to come from Pax Europeana here from European Chisinau. Bye.